Yeah, that's better. I can see a sweater. Tan bello. Tan bello, oh. Tony. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos. Episodio número ocho, episode number eight, guys. I have some cool topics to talk about. I know there's a lot going on. The first one is Yolanda, right? Yolanda Saldivar. Maybe many people know her as, you know, of course, that tragic day where Selena pretty much, she was the person that killed her. The woman suspected of shooting Selena is still holding police at bay. You're looking at a live picture right now. There's so much news, you know, lately, of course, you know, with the birthday of uh, Selena, she's been on the news a lot uh, because everybody remembers her once a year. Of course, her music lives on forever. But Yolanda Saldivar. You know, Yolanda Desgraciada Saldivar, also known as the b who killed Selena's. Tony, you're right. Like, uh, her music will live forever. <laughs> It's been 26 years since that tragic day happened in Corpus Christi. It's our top story tonight, Friday, March 31st, 1995. Where Yolanda Salivar took, yeah, took uh, Selena's uh, life. She, I guess her father, Abraham, had got, you know, got suspicious of some, uh, tiendo la mano where she should not be, <laughs> accounting issue. She, uh, you know, took Selena's life. Uh, she's in jail. Uh, look, uh, Eric, you mentioned that uh, she might be on parole or she's trying to uh, see if they give her early, uh, out of jail earlier. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm, I'm happy to be here. I heard she's eligible for parole on uh, 2025. So we're just okay. talking about a couple of years from now. Like meaning, I guess, libertad condicional is what she's... That, that, that's, that's basically you're on parole. Yeah. Libertad condicional. Uh, on that subject, Eric, you, you just mentioned to us that, that Selena's father, Abraham, said some interesting things about that. So you, you guys got to hear this. So on our other show, Latino Nation, which we're going to be launching soon, one of the things that came out of this interview with Frankie J that, that we did, Carmen and I did, really wanted to know, like, what was his experience with Abraham? And if he was kind of a like everybody says, and he says, definitely a <laughs> I'm, I'm just, uh, just, you know, repeating, not repeating, but I'm saying what Frankie J was on in the Cumbia Kings, correct? Yeah, and if you guys don't remember Frankie J, Frankie J, they call him, he's the Mexican Bruno Mars. That's, that's what they call him. Tonight. So anyway, he, he confirmed that this guy is I just read in this article, which we're going to link down here in the, in, the, in the show notes, is that he said that he doesn't mind if she gets out in 2025. I'm like, why would he say that? And then I re read a little further down, and it's basically he's saying that there's so many people that are going to kill her. No la han dejado ir a la población uh, de la prisión porque saben que la matan allí. Wow. Oh. Y si la sueltan ahorita a, 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 los, a las ciudades aquí, eh, tú sabes cómo está el mundo ahorita, hay mucha gente loca. Nosotros recibimos todavía cartas de mujeres que están en esa prisión donde está ella y dicen que la están esperando, que la van a matar. I guess there's wow. people that have like dedicated their lives to figuring out when she gets out that they're going to, you know. Like, oh, no. I don't even know how you're alive. Nobody's killed your ass in jail. I guess take stuff her out. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, that's that's crazy. That's crazy to me. Well, you know, I mean, it, it's a proud father who lost his daughter in a horrible in a horrible way. I mean, this this woman killed his daughter. I, I think most dads would, you know, would do the job themselves if they if they could. And if somebody else did it, I don't know if that's you know I don't know if that's is that breaking the law? That's got to be breaking the law. Like when somebody says I'm gonna do that and that happens, guess what? You're the first witness that they're gonna come to and stuff too. Like he says, there's a lot. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that once she's out, of course they want to you know they want to handle it. But then at the they same want some time, some retribution, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at the same time, I hate to say this, but. If she hasn't been out in a while, even though she's parole for 2025, she's going to try to get parole back again. But you know what? What she did, I don't I don't know. They said, you know, I think three consecutive life sentence and stuff like that. So I don't know how that yeah, works. I doubt I doubt that she's going to be released. Um, you know, she can appeal, but doesn't mean they're going to let her, you know, uh, get out of jail. A lot of these days, people don't like me. I don't know why. Nothing's going to save you, bitch. Not even the holy water. Nothing is <laughs> The power of Christ compels you. I 
Going back to Frankie J, did he just get kicked out of the Cumbia Kings recently, uh, or what happened with him? So you'll you'll find this more out on on the show. The thing that that surprised and and us when he told us was that he said it was a complete surprise. A complete surprise. He was the, one of the biggest contributors to the the band. He felt like he was he was doing a lot. You know, if you follow Frankie J, if you follow you know the Cumbia Kings. You might agree, you might not. I'm not here to say yes or no. I love Frankie J. I love his music. Probably bumped it a few times in the car while on a, on a date or two back in the day. But you know what, Frankie J. Frankie J. has a really good boys. You know, I know that he was with the Cumbia Kings. Yeah. Um, remember, guys, a lot of those group uh, boy group bands, a lot of them sometimes two, three years, they want to go solo too. And uh, I think for Frankie right. J, if he got kicked out or whatever reason it was, like you say, uh, Eric is going to play the whole interview that he had with him. For him, it did him good because he started doing stuff with like different artists. Um, the guy, like I said, has a great voice. But hey, Frankie J has a lot of stuff coming up, too. So that's something to hear. You know, the other cool thing, I know we're going off on, on, a t on a tangent here, but this is super cool, too, because this is all public stuff. But I didn't know his son is producing his new album. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's very, very cool. Fresh blood. Very like cool. Say, you know, young kid and stuff like that, probably up the, at the studio, you know, doing the magic for his dad. Exactly. But, you know, on a positive note uh, in regards to Selena is that uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but Netflix recently did a really cool series about her life. Selena. Um, and I think the new season is supposed to come out pretty soon. If you, if you guys haven't seen it yet, you should check it out on Netflix. If you stand around and wait for what you want, you're going to be waiting your whole life. Star and right, um, and, and you know, and then unfortunately, you know, her life was taken so tragically. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, I know it's, positive, I know it's a positive note that you're talking about her. But um, a lot of people, you know, I've seen the series, the first episodes and stuff like that. A lot of people like the J Lo movie more than you know J Lo's part than the action. I love the I love that movie, Selena's. I'm gonna put a little sign under it. It's gonna say, "This bumper was pulled off by the bus of Selena's." <laughs> but you know what? It, it was like to me both both of them. I thought they were great. First of all, because for Latinos to get a series like that on Netflix. <laughs> Selena, talking about an art artist, I think is huge. So people should see it like that. The more Latino uh, shows or episodes that are on Netflix, that's good because we're making noise. That's the way you got to see it at the end of the day. Another, another, just not to get too much off subject, but another great series <laughs> on Netflix, it was about Luis Miguel. Have you guys seen that one? Llevamos casi 90 millones con la gira. ¿Cuándo vas a parar? Nunca. <laughs> On, on Dude, I so wanted to check that out. If you guys you have, have about the Luis Miguel uh, series that that uh, the Adrian's talking about, you have to have to. It's, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm going to. I, my time is like super limited, but I really want to check this out because I've heard it's like all the inside scoop on everything what really happened. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevan robándome? The, the interesting thing about Luis Miguel and Selena is that both of their dads were very, very dominant figures in their life <laughs> and took over their careers because yeah. Luis Miguel had a lot of problems with his father. But I'm not going to give you guys too many details. You should check it out on Netflix. Uh so, Eric, Adrian, once again, episode number eight. Thank you, guys. It was another fun, fun, fun show. And don't Always a pleasure. Don't forget to sign in. Don't forget to like our page. Don't forget to share our page. We're doing this so you guys can be entertained at home. Keep it locked with us. Adios. Adios. Peace. Adios.